Hey guys, here we are outside of a 2023 Wildwood Grand Lodge 42 View VIEW. So this camper is 45 feet long, brand new floor plan in 2023 by Wildwood Grand Lodge. Uh, has a dry weight of 3,144 pounds, uh, gross vehicle weight, so fully loaded weight of 15,635 pounds. Uh, this new park model by Wildwood Grand Lodge, uh, unlike anything you've seen before, two lofts, full-size bedroom, uh, full-size bathroom, huge huge living room with a wraparound couch. I mean, we're, we're going to walk through this thing. You're going to check it out. Um, I'm If you're as amazed as I am, and if you're not, uh, there's something wrong with you. Let's check this thing out and uh, see what's going on in here. Hey, guys, here we are outside of the 2023 Wildwood Grand Lodge 42 View VIEW. It's a little bit of a mouthful, but uh, you guys will love this camper. Um, 45 feet long. Dry weight, 13,400 pounds, I believe. Uh, gross vehicle weight of 15,000, a little over 15,000 pounds. Uh, anyway, brand new floor plan by them. Two lofts in here, full-size bathroom. Uh, just a great floor plan. Uh, of course, on the outside here, you can see you have a full, um, it looks like it's about 20 foot long awning here. Uh, tinted windows, of course, on the outside so nobody can see on the inside. And of course, it keeps all your uh, interior stuff nice and fresh, keeps the sun out, keeps everything from sun fading. Uh, fiberglass exterior is standard on these units, so you don't have to upgrade to that. Of course, you can't upgrade to the port package, you get a little bit better insulation. Um, on the outside here, not a whole lot to talk about. It is just a park model. Uh, you can kind of see all these, uh, just all these windows giving you awesome lighting. Uh, again, every one of them is tinted, so you cannot see in. We have all the lights on on the inside of this unit right now, but you can't really tell. Uh, but allows for awesome light in there uh, and the sun shades are not down so you can if you could see in there right now uh, you're supposed to be able to um, anyway on the outside here you have two speakers uh, place for your outside tv other than that though pretty simple outside of a park model not a whole, a whole lot to write home about all the funds on the inside so let's check that out check that out so here we are inside of the 42 view um, one thing i'm gonna point out here my cameraman austin is gonna hate me uh, these blinds right here are manual. Uh, they lift up and down just like a traditional camper blind. Uh, the reason I mentioned that, you'll kind of see it later in the video, the rest of the blinds and the rest of the camper are all electronic. So these are the only ones you actually have to physically lift up and down. Other than that though, you have yourself a full king size bed. I'm going to be a little gentle here because we haven't taken off the uh, screen door there for the awning or the uh, door, but you have full storage underneath the king size bed there uh, access to the outside as well nice place for your shoes and everything uh, of course storage over top of the bed and you, could, you have yourself a full wardrobe with the fireplace so if you want to set the mood inside of the bedroom here or just have yourself a nice relaxed heated place without turning the furnace on uh, this bedroom a nice little hidey hole for that uh, do have tv hookup on the uh, cabinetry here uh, of course, this king size bed in this nice little bedroom, a nice little place to hang out for you and your wife or you and your significant other. Excuse me. Uh, awesome bedroom in this Grand Lodge, and we'll move on to the rest of the camper. So, moving out of the main bedroom of the 42 View, you're going to notice this nice uh, metal staircase. Uh, of course, it is a little bit of a spiral staircase, but it takes you directly to the loft above the bedroom. So, you have three mattresses up there with a little bit of storage. Uh, and of course, the Blinds and stuff up there are still manual because you have easy access to them. But coming down from the staircase there, you have storage on each side, or on, underneath the storage underneath the staircase and your door to the main bedroom. But of course you have the spiral staircase and the loft up there for up to three people. Uh, you could probably hold more, but comfortably three people. To the left of the staircase here, you have your light switch for the fan, as well as your water heater controls, water pump, light switch, as well as your dimmer to set the mood for the rest of the camper. So rotating around a little bit, there's another control panel here on this side of the wall is immediately once you walk in the main sliding glass door. On this control panel, you have your TV operation for up and down for the main living room. I'm gonna leave that down for now. And of course, the main part, uh, you can control all of the shades for the entire camper. So they're all electronic and you can make them go up and down all together at once with just a click of a button. So say you wanna watch uh, Saving Private Ryan or uh, Titanic 
whichever you want to watch. Basically set the mood, turn them all on, run them all down, turn them all back off, turn your TV on, run your TV up. It's going to catch that uh, little bit of a blooper reel for you there. Run your TV up. And then of course you turn your lights off and now you're set the mood for your evening movie night. Of course there are more light switches in the awning extend and everything. I'm going to turn the lights on for our view here. But of course that is your uh, controls and everything. Now of course you kind of notice this big awesome island here. Uh, this is your main table. You get stools underneath, uh, solid surface countertops in this specific model that is an upgrade. Uh, dual basin sink. Lighting underneath, of course, cabinetry under all the way around. Uh, park model, so you get a huge refrigerator with an inverter. Um, of course, three burner cooktop, oven, full size microwave, just cabinetry galore through here. But kitchen's pretty standard for a park model, but again, with this new floor plan, just space galore in here. So, of course, we're still in movie mode for this uh, for in the camper just because I don't feel like changing anything and I like the movie Titanic. So, in this big L-shaped couch here, you have a hide-a-bed on this side, so you can fold this out, watch your movie. Uh, nice pull-out couch in here. Of course, you have your ottoman here for all your blankets and cuddle time stuff. On here on this side, you have storage behind here. Nice little storage compartment. Um, goes all the way to the back side of the couch. And this entire thing is on wheels, so when the slide moves in, it doesn't run into anything. Of course, your TV, you guys saw that operate. Solid, still solid surface countertops. DVD player slash Blu-ray slash um, Furion's awesome little sound bar that just controls all the sound inside the camper. And of course below that your nice fireplace. Uh, awesome little entertainment area as well as your living room if you would. Uh, part of this camper almost makes it feel like a normal house if not if it is your normal house. So of the 42 view, uh, you guys have seen the three beds over there and the main bedroom with a king size bed. But if you didn't know it's a dual loft camper. So there's, this is the second loft above the bedroom uh, towards the back of the camper. Two beds on each side and again storage in the middle. Uh, AC's pumped up there so it is nice and cool. Um, heat's also pumped up there but again sleeping for two so in total you could sleep two here. Three in the loft above the bedroom, two in the main bedroom and then pull out couch there. Another two to three so you could probably sleep 12 to 15 in this camper if you really wanted to. Nice little party place. Um, let's go check out the bathroom. So here we are in the full-size bathroom of this camper. I'm going to call it a full-size bathroom because normally um, in a camper this size it's a little smaller or, you know, it's just not just not this big. So, of course, you have yourself a full-size shower with a uh, little seating arrangement. 6'2", uh, 300 pounds. I say that just so you can get a dimensions of uh, how big I am versus the shower. Um, I am easily move around in here, can slide the door shut if I know how to operate it, which apparently I can't figure out. Um, and again, easily move around. Porcelain toilet, and you can upgrade that to the tank toilet without the plumbing and underneath everything underneath the camper. Uh, full size cabinetry here. And of course, great view out of the back of the camper while you're doing your business if you want to you know, check everything out. Awesome cabinet, or uh, excuse me, closet here. And if you want washer and dryer, this is where you would put it. Stackable washer and dryer in this one. And of course, nice vanity and everything for you to brush your teeth store everything in as well as your mirror for you to do your makeup in if you go on a date with your wife so this has been the 2023 wildwood 42 excuse me the wildwood so this has been the 2023 wildwood grand lodge 42 view uh 45 foot camper great park model lots of space lots of sleeping arrangements um some of the technology in here with the motorized uh, blinds, the huge uh, elbow shaped couch. I mean, just an awesome camper all around. Uh, they've done a lot of things that you haven't seen in other campers. Um, hope they continue to make innovations like this and I hope you guys like it. If you guys wanna see more like this one, go to RV Wholesalers on YouTube, Facebook, give us a call, ask us questions, come down and see them. Again, my name is Dalton. Uh, hope to see you guys here.